Alright then gang, so I think we've learned enough now to start our very first mini project, which is going to be a to-do list. I know it's quite boring and predictable, but all I want to do is glue together the different things that we've learned so far. And I think a to-do list does that quite well. Later on, we are going to make a much more exciting project, I promise you. But for now, I just want to kind of cement what we've learned together so that you understand everything and we make some kind of workable project from it. So, as you can see, I've stripped out a lot of the code from the last tutorial. We have this app.js file, which at the top has a couple of imports, React and useState from React, and we have a stylesheet, text, and view component from React Native. Down here, we have our root component, app, which just returns some simple JSX, a view with a style of styles.container. We create that style sheet down here and the container has just two properties, flex of one and background color of white. Again, we are gonna learn about flex very shortly, probably after this mini project. Okay then, so I'm gonna spread this project out over two or three videos and I'm gonna start with the basic layout. So we're gonna do the kind of container layout and also the header layout or something like that. So inside here, what I'm gonna do first of all is a little comment. So inside curly braces, I'm gonna say forward slash and then asterisk and then we can add a comment in here and that comment is gonna say header. So this is where the header is gonna go right here. We'll sort that later on. Then I'm gonna do another view and this view is gonna have also a style property and that style is gonna be equal to styles.content and we'll create that style down here in a second. And inside this view over here, this is where we're gonna have the to-do form. So again, I'll do a comment and that comment is gonna say to-do form. And then inside that view, we want another view because we want a list as well, and that's gonna be in its own view. Remember, a view is like a container for things that belong together. So first of all, we have the view surrounding everything, including the header. Then we have another view surrounding the form, and then we have another view inside that surrounding the flat list. So I'm gonna create this view. And by the way, you don't have to organize it exactly as I'm doing. There's many ways to do this. You don't have to do all these different views. I just like to do them so I can style each bit separately. So I'm gonna add a style prop to that as well, and that is gonna be styles, and it's gonna be dots, and we'll call this list. Okay, so inside here, we're going to do the actual flat list. So let's create that. First of all, I need to import it up here, flat list, like so, and then inside, oops, let's come to the right line, first of all. Inside this view, let's do our flat list component. Okay, so the first prop I need to do inside this flat list component is gonna be the data prop. So what data do I want to use? Well, we don't have any yet, so let's paste some in. I'm gonna just copy this from my repo and paste them in here so you don't have to watch me write them all out. It's just a simple bit of state called to-dos. We have a set to-dos function as well. Use state and inside we pass an initial value which is an array and each item in the array is an object and represents a single to-do. Each to-do has a text property and a key property. So we have buy coffee, create an app and play on the switch, my personal favorite. So now down here, we need to supply this data. So I'm gonna say data is equal to to-dos. And by the way, you've seen all of this so far. We're not doing anything new here. So if you feel like I'm moving too fast or you don't understand any of this, maybe just go back a few videos and watch over some of the initial kind of concepts and ideas, because again, we're just doing the same kind of thing in a slightly different way here. And beneath that then, we need the render item prop. And remember, this is the thing that actually renders the template for each item in the list. So it's gonna be a function which returns some JSX. Now let's create that function first of all, which is gonna return some JSX. So let's do our parentheses right there. And in here, we can extract using destructuring the item that we're currently iterating. So that represents either this on the first go round, this on the second, this on the third. So in here, we're just going to create a text component for now. We'll make this look better later on, but inside this text component, we're gonna output the item dot text, which is this property right here. Remember, we don't need to apply the key prop to this when we're using a flat list because it does it automatically. 
So then, that's the very simple list setup. Let me just save this and see what it looks like so far over here. We should just see a few lines of text, which we do, but some of it is being covered at the top. But we're gonna now style these two things, content and list, so that it comes down a little bit at least. So let's come down here, and I'm gonna do the content first of all, and that is this thing right here. So the content itself, that needs to come down from the top. So I'm gonna give this a padding of 40, and I'll save that, and we'll see what it looks like over here. While it's doing that work, I'm gonna create a second one called list, and we can see now it's come down, and to the right, because this is padding in every direction. And the list itself is this view, and in the list, we just wanna add a margin top of 20. And that's so later on, this has a margin away from the form. So let me save that and it should bring it down a touch more as well. There we go. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is the header. Now we have a few choices here. We can either just write all of the JSX in this one single file in app.js and then have done with it. And we could do that. But if you think about it, we've got a header to do right here. We've also got a form to create as well. And before you know it, this JSX could get a bit messy and not very maintainable. I prefer to split my code up into logical different files. So what we could do is create a brand new component in a different file for the header. And then what we could do is import that header and nest it right here just kind of separate our different parts of the template a little bit and make it easier to update and easier on the eye as well. So that's what I'm gonna do. And to do that, I'm gonna create a new folder over here. So new folder and call it components and any kind of extra components that we create like the header or maybe later for the form will add inside this folder just to keep this organized a little bit. So I'm gonna create a new file and call that header .js. Now inside header.js we need to import the same kind of things over here so let me copy that and paste it. So we need react, we don't need any state so I can get rid of that and in here we don't need the flat list so let me get rid of that. We need the rest I think, we're going to have a style sheet text and a view so let's leave that as it is. Now we need to create a new functional component so much like we had function app over here which is a functional component and that renders all of this. We're gonna have one for the header as well. So we'll export default because ultimately we want to export this, right? And it's gonna be a function called header. Okay, so you can call it what you want. I'm calling it header because it is header and we're gonna return some JSX. Now in here, I'd like to do a view first of all and inside the view, a text component and the text will say my to-dos. Now we are gonna create a style sheet as well. So let's say const styles is equal to style sheet dot create. And remember in here we pass an object which represents the style sheet and now we can add our different properties. So when we have different components in different files like this, we have to create a style sheet in each one for the different things, okay? so we'll create styles for this component here and styles for this component right here. Make sense, right? All right, so inside this style sheet, what do I want to do? Well, first of all, let's add a style prop to the view and that is gonna be styles.header and then let's also add one to the text, so style, and that is gonna be equal to styles.title. So we have header and title that we need to do. Header first of all. That is gonna have a height of 80 pixels. Basically, this is gonna be a little bar that sits at the top, right? So 80 pixels down from the top is gonna to be the height. And we'll also have a padding top of around 38 pixels. And then we'll also do a background color of coral, which is like an orangey red. Okay, so if I save this now, we should see a little bar at the top which has a height of 80 pixels, a padding top of 38 and a background color of coral, except we don't because stupidly, I've not actually done anything with this component. We've created it, but we've not done anything with it. What we need to do is import it in this file now and then nest it down here because at the minute, it's just kind of floating around. 
So let me come over here and say import and it's going to be from dot forward slash components. So dot forward slash means the current directory, the same directory as app, then go into the components directory as well. And then from there, we want to get the header dot JS, but we don't need to type dot JS, just this header bit. Okay. And it's called header. That's the thing we're importing from that file. So now we've imported that, we can go ahead and nest it, and we nest it as a component, just like we'd make a view component. We've now made a custom header component. So what we can do is now say header like so. Okay, so that just takes our header component that we import, and it nests it inside this view. So it takes all this JSX and it puts it right here. So if I save it now, then hopefully it should show, but it doesn't, and that's because we get this error. And the error is because I've not added the S onto components, so let me save that, refresh again. And now we can see this header at the top. Now this thing doesn't look great at the minute, so let me go and address that. We need to add on a second style, which is title. So let me say title, and that is now gonna be equal and inside the title, we need text align to be center. So it goes to the middle over here. And then also, let's say the color of this text is going to be white. So F, F, F. And then we'll make the font size a little bigger. So 20 pixels. And also the font weight is going to be bold. All right. So let me save this and see if it works. And voila, there we go. So that's how we can create a new file for a new component. We can take that component and we can nest it inside another component. So that just makes this easier to read, more logical, and then we can place this header inside that component. And it also makes the code more reusable because if I want to use this in another file as well, I don't have to retype it out. I can just import it and nest it the same as I have done right here. So there we go, there's the first part of this to-do app. In the next video, what I'd like to do is start to make these look a little better and maybe even add on some kind of press handler so we can delete them as well.